Right, on our tricky sphere cylinder and cone problem two, we have a cylinder and sphere problem. We've got two solid spheres, each of radius r. So both of these have a radius of r. Fit exactly inside a hollow cylinder. The height of the cylinder is equal to 4r, because if that's going to be the radius r, then we're going to have another r, then another r, and another r. So that will give us a height of 4r for our cylinder. The volume of the space inside the cylinder that not occupy those spheres is equal to 125.6 over pi. So remembering our last question, let's take the information we are given and see what we can do with it. Now we know the volume of the sphere, so we do volume of the sphere is equal to 4 thirds times pi times r cubed. And we know we've got two of those. So we've got the volume of both spheres, in this case, will be 8 because we times the top by 2 pi r cubed okay now we're going to do the volume of the cylinder so volume of our cylinder is equal to um, the base area pi r squared times by the height now the height is 4r so that's going to give me 4 pi r cubed now we know this space not occupied so this one minus this one must equal this value so we know that 4 thirds pi r cubed minus 8 thirds pi r cubed will equal 125 over 6 pi. Now straight away we can cancel out all the pi. We've got a pi here, a pi here and a pi here. So we can divide throughout by pi. Now the trick to this question is spotting you have a factor of r cubed here. So take the factor of r cubed out. Or you could do 8 thirds away from 4. It doesn't really matter, actually. Uh, I'm going to just practice taking the... R no, I'll do 4 minus 8 thirds lots. Um, and 8 thirds is 2 and 2 thirds away from 4. So that's going to give me 1, one third. So that's going to be 4 over 3 r cubed. will equal 125 over 6. So r cubed will equal... 1, 2, 5 over 6 times 3 over 4. If we divide by 4 thirds, it's the same as tithing by the fraction flipped. So what have we got here? So we've got, we can cancel out a 3 with a 6 to leave 1, 2, 5 over 2 times 4, which is 8. Now 1, 2, 5 is 5 cubed and 8 is 2 cubed. It doesn't really matter. You could use the cube root to put on your calculator. So if you get your calculator and you write 1, 2, 5 over 8, put that in your equals and we want to do cube root. So I think you do that while we're doing for a shift that. And then we do answer. You'll get 5 over 2. Okay. So cube root of 1, 2, 5 is 5. Cube root of 8 is Two, so r will equal five over two, or two point five. Is it centimeters? Centimeters. Yeah, is our answer. So again, remember what we do to try and solve this problem. We take the information here r and r for h four r into from the question. We write it into the formula. So get your formula for the volume of both spheres, the volume for the for the cylinder, and you probably get a mark or two for doing that. And then we see the volume of space inside the cylinder, which is one minus the other. If you get this equation, you'll get another mark. Okay, And then there's various marks until you get the final answer.